this next video is all about knowing your opponent. And by knowing your opponent, I mean know the variety of rows that you are trying to prune. Uh, now that just doesn't mean whether it's a climber, whether it's a rambler, whether it's a bush rose or a, uh, a standard rose. It's actually about knowing physically the variety of rose that you're dealing with. Now I understand if you've inherited roses with a garden that you have started working on, not all the time do you actually physically know which variety you are dealing with. So what you need to do in that aspect is actually pay attention to the plant in the growing season just before you're starting to prune. So what did the rose do during last summer? How tall was it what was its form and habit like did it have large clusters of flowers on singular stems did it have large individual blooms on singular stems was it wide spreading and floppy and only then will you know how to attack it when it actually comes to pruning please uh, uh, a plea from a professional gardener do not take the rose labels off of your plants i have so many messages from people questioning uh, can you identify this rose for me I think it's X Y and Z blah 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 well it's really really difficult to do from foliage it's very very difficult to do from uh, stems there are telltale signs different particular roses do have slightly different colored leaves and slightly different colored uh, growth tips but really it's the bud and the flower which will tell the flower apart from anything else so leave those labels on. If we're talking about David Austin roses, the labels are virtually indestructible. Uh, if you don't, can't stand the rose labels in your garden. Now, Mark, my husband and I do disagree over this. He has delabeled roses in the past, but he has taken the time to sit and draw the garden and do a rose plan. Now, I know that sounds very lavish to most of you, but there are an awful lot of roses here at North Lodge. So if you can keep yourself organized like that, it will help you with your pruning regime of how to actually deal with with each individual plant. For instance, I'm, I'm gonna pick up on things like Bosca Bell is a very, very short rose. You don't want to be pruning that in exactly the same way as you do, for, for instance, something like Royal Jubilee, which is much taller and much, much open and floppier on its habit. So my tip for this particular video is to know your opponent and do your research before you reach for your secateurs. Put these down and know what you're dealing with first.